Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're talking about Zen and why it may be everything we've hoped for. Let's get right into it. A few days ago, PC World did an interview with Mark Papermaster, the CTO at AMD, who presented some stuff about Zen the other day, and this guy is bringing the hype! In this interview, we learned a few things. AMD is confident in Zen. Statements like, Custom microprocessor designs are long and arduous, and the triple constraints of what I shared performance, throughput, and power efficiency, they play against each other. It's very hard to, in fact, to achieve all three, but that's what the team pulled off, and it's just a maniacal execution by the team. And the quote we should really be hyped about here, where the question was asked, go back through AMD's history of chip designs, the K6, the Athlon, and others. Do you think this eclipses those? To which the CTO responded with, we absolutely believe that this will be a historic inflection point, as were those you referenced. And the Athlon he mentioned here, according to Extreme Tech, was the chip that changed the world. And AMD even released a ton of in-depth information about Zen at the Hot Chips conference. I think it's obvious that they know what they're doing, and are confident enough to have released this stuff so early. Link to this will be in the description. And now we wait for the next bit of information. Lisa Sue claimed that Zen's final clock speeds will be higher than the sample we've been seeing, but by how much? Clock speeds around 3.5 to 3.8 gigahertz will be enough to be competitive according to PC perspective, but this is just speculation of course. We already know that Zen is about as fast as Broadwell E. We can only hope that we'll have a 4 core 8 thread competitor with Skylake at a competitive price. Alright everyone, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like this video to show your support. Comment down below on whether or not you believe Zen is the second coming. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.